Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics, 5th edition by S. Timoshenko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao, Sukumar, Party. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.3 and problem number 2.25. A circular roller of weight Q is equal to 445 Newtons and radius R is equal to 150 mm hangs by a tie rod AC of length 300 meters and rests against a smooth vertical wall at B as shown in the figure. Determine the tension S in the tie rod and force RB exerted against the wall at B. That means a circular roller of weight 445 Newtons is hanged by a string AC and also it is supported at B. Our interest is to find the tensile force in the AC and the reaction force developed at B. Now before solving this problem, please recall if any body is supported, a reaction force will develop and the reaction force is always perpendicular to the support and towards the body. Similarly, if the system is consisting of either strings, cables, struts, ropes, etc., the force is along the axis and away from the support. Now, with this concept, let us see what are the various forces that are acting on the system. The first force is the reaction force at B. The roller is supported at the vertical surface, hence a reaction force will develop which is perpendicular to the surface and it is towards the body. Let this force is RB. There is a string. A force will develop inside the string and it is along the string and away from C because my point of interest is C. Let that force is S. And of course, the self-weight Q. If you extend this RB, this will also intersect here. Now, let us transfer all these forces onto XY plane. First, I am transferring RB like this. So, anywhere you can write, draw like this. Next, I am transferring the tensile force in the string, that is S. And then I am transferring the self-weight Q. Now, here the system is consisting of three forces and all three forces are meeting at a particular point. So, it is a concurrent forces and all three forces are divergent. So, I can apply the concept of sign rule. I have prepared a separate video on the concept of sign rule. Please watch it from RK Tutorials. The next interesting point is the angle made by S with either X axis or Y axis. For that, let theta is the angle made by the string AC with the horizontal R like this. Now, from the triangle ACB, AC length is given, that is AC is equal to 300 mm and CB is nothing but radius and that radius value is given, that is 150. So, from the right angle triangle ABC, I can write the equation cos theta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse that is CB by AC that is equal to cos theta is 150 by 300 or I can say theta is equal to 60 degrees. That means the S makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. Now I can apply the concept of sine rule. Now according to the sine rule, Q divided by sine of angle between the other two forces. 
Now, S makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. That means this angle we can say it is 30 degrees. And this is right angle. So, what is the total angle between S and RB? This is 90 plus 30, which is equal to 120. Hence, it is Q by sine 120. Similarly, RB divided by angle between S and Q. So, this is given already 60 and you know this is 90 degrees. So, what is the angle between S and Q? This is 90 plus 60, which is equal to 150. Hence, I wrote RB divided by sine 150. And then S divided by angle between other two forces. What are those two forces? RB and Q. That is 90 degrees. Hence, S yes divided by sin 90. I can write. Once you write all these three equations, I can calculate the remaining unknown values. Now, given that Q is equal to 445, I am substituting. That is 445 divided by sin 120 is 0.866. That is equal to RB divided by sin 150 is 0.5. And S divided by sin 90 is equal to 1. So, I can take these two equations first. So, tension in the rod S is equal to 445 divided by 0.866 into 1, which gives the value of 513.86 Newtons. Now, I will take these two equations, expressions. So, reaction force at B, RB is equal to 445 divided by 0.866 into 0.5, which gives the value of 256.93 Newtons. These two are the answers for this problem. We can also solve this problem using the concept of resolution of a force. I have prepared a separate video on the concept of resolution of a force. Please watch it from RK Tutorials. Now, let us resolve all these three forces onto x, y axis. Q is along y axis. You need not to resolve. Now, yes force I can resolve along x axis and y axis. S yes makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. Hence, the horizontal component is cos component and the remaining is vertical component. Now, we can see the horizontal component S yes, is S yes, cos 60 and the vertical component is S yes, sin 60. Now, RB is along X axis, so you can take as it is. Now, apply the equilibrium equations. First, I can apply the equilibrium equation sigma Fy equals to 0. I can take the upward direction is positive. Hence, S yes, sin 60 is equal to 445. Hence, I can calculate S yes, into 0 0.866 is equal to 445 or S is equal to 513.86. Similarly, I can apply sigma fx is equal to 0. I can take towards right side. I can take positive. There is only one force towards right side and one force towards left side. So, I can write S yes, cos 60 is equal to RB. Already I know that S is equal to 513.86. I can substitute that 513.86 into cos 60 is 0.5 is equal to RB. Upon solving that, you will get RB is equal to 256.93 Newtons. These two are the answers for this problem.